Hey everybody, Dave Thompson here, uh, and I'm not in the mountains anymore. I am back on the sunny coast, and I'm back at the beach. It's, um, what, 15, 18, maybe 20 knots from the north, northeast. Not a whole lot of swell around, just some tiny, tiny waves. But today, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to stop by. Hey, Stephen. Hey to everyone jumping on. What I wanted to do today is stop by and share with you all about how and where to start when it comes to books. Because I know that's a question that stops people from moving forward is they just don't know. They just like, they just, it almost seems like people start taking action on a book, which is really commendable, but they haven't got the higher pieces lined up. And that's what I want to help you with today. Um, and over the next couple of days, weeks, maybe 10 or 14 days, I want to share with you how we think about books, the, the structured approach. I want to give you our thinking from kind of top to bottom as we go big picture and get even more specific. Because I think that'll really, really help you. So the very first place to start you know, a book journey, I've likened it before to climbing mountains. And I've likened it to, um, you know, going up Everest. You know, some people can go up Everest by themselves without oxygen, but then a lot of people, they get Sherpas. So first thing to know is like doing a book by yourself from scratch without experience, that like I did that in 2014. That's why this whole thing's here. And I do know people that have done it. It's just... It's just really challenging. So I want to help you out, okay? So let's do that in this, in this video. So the very, very, very first place to start is to ask yourself and get connected to why. Why you want to do it. It's a, it's a tough journey. It's a difficult journey. Why do you want to take it? And what I'm looking for here is the real, like the burning desire, like that thing deep inside, that thing that's like... I, I, I have to, I must, and I will go through whatever I need to go through, do whatever I need to do to get there. And for, for, for many people that we work with, there's a, there's a range of reasons. Uh, some are personal, like deeply personal reasons. Others are professional reasons, like they want their, their business to advance, their career to advance. But typically, there'll always be one. There'll be one reason that's like, that's what, you know, gets the fingers clicking, gets the energy, gets the fire started. It's like, that's why I've got to do it. You know, some people, and I'll give you some examples. So we've had people who are practitioners, health practitioners of various types. And they, the, the biggest reason why they want to write their book is because every single day they're having to show up in a session and say the same thing to their client. And they just go, well, if I had a book, I could give the client the book. We've also had people uh, who have been through really profound personal journeys. Like, you know, they've been through immense challenge. Um, and for some of them, they just prefer to hand over a book than actually keep telling their story. You know how sometimes if you've been through a lot, like it is healthy to tell the story, but then it gets to the point where it you know, you just don't want to say it anymore because you're just so sick of your own story. Well, if you've got a book, you can just go here, read the book. Hey, Jackie Grant. Awesome to have you here. Jackie's the author of, I don't know how many now, Jackie, four, five, six, something like that. Um, Jackie's a great person to follow uh, if you are into, uh, if you've had bariatric surgery and you're looking to keep the weight off. So often there's deeply personal meaning. Sometimes we get the real uh, business guys who come to a six, says Jackie. Jackie's done six books. Um, sometimes we get the business guys come to us, and for them it's pure. They just they just they just want <laughs> they want the cutthroat success. They want it for business. They know that a book can uh, be this tool that you put in a book funnel. You run ads to it. You end up getting paid for the ad for the leads that you receive. It's a purely a business building uh, piece. And if that's you, 
then fantastic. You know, also on the professional front, a lot of people do it for credibility. You know, the likes of Jackie with a bariatric surgery. She's written a book on the topic. She's also lived that experience, walks in anywhere, you know, anywhere you want to go, put the book on the table. Yes, that's the person that has literally written the book on the topic. So authority and credibility, you know, author is a subset of the word authority. But here's the thing with authority. Here's the thing I want to share. Oh, thanks for the kind wor- kind words, Jackie. Jackie just says, if you've ever wanted to write a book, I highly recommend Dave and his team. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to everyone jumping on. If you're jumping on, I'd love to know, um, are you thinking about writing a book? Uh, and, or, or have you already written one? And if so, if you've already written one or you want to write one, like, what's your why? You know, why is it important to you? Because right now I'm just freestyling on some different ideas about, uh, uh, different reasons, you know, different reasons that I've heard that people go, oh yeah, I, I must do this, right? For some people, it's a very spiritual calling. You know, they've known, they've had a knowing for many, many, many years that they just need to get it done, that they've got something to say that it's part of their mission here on earth to, you know, to share what they've got You know, those people, they would use the language, they would say, I'm really called to do it. And there's definitely a huge percentage of people that do that. They're just called to want to share. So for you, what what are the reasons? Personal, personally, you know, some people, um, they're writing their book for legacy. You know, they want to leave something behind for their family. They want their life to be remembered. You know, I remember my grandfather also, uh, David Thompson, I was named after him. Um, just before he passed, he wrote his autobiography. He wrote his, his life story. You know, so for, for some people, it's about leaving something behind. And I don't know if you've heard that saying, but uh, th- there's the saying that goes, every human should do three things in their life. Number one, write a book. Number two, plant a tree. And number three, um, have a child. You know, and why is that? Because all of those things, you're leaving something behind. So what is it for you? What is it for you? You know, certainly in this coaching entrepreneur kind of community, one of the biggest reasons is to get, uh, Justin said, (laughs) thank you, Justin. I'm so flattered. Justin says, Dave, you're an inspiration all in yourself. Thank you, my friend. You know, what I really want to do here, Justin, the whole reason why we've created Inspirational Book Writers is I want to inspire people to get that book out of them, to get that book out on the table, get it out into the world, get it out making a difference. You know, Justin's book, uh, Angry as Fuck, but uh, No Idea Why, launched in November, audiobook coming very soon. Um, You know, fantastic piece, fantastic piece on how particularly I, I see I see real value in Justin's book as a, a, a piece to men to say, hey, you know, often men don't get taught how to deal with emotions. His book teaches how to deal specifically with, with emotions, but specifically with anger. And particularly if you don't know why you're angry, you know, what, what a piece of value that is to the world. And guys, I think ultimately you can have you can have your own personal reasons about why the book, why writing the book is meaningful to you. Um, and I think all of those are valid. But at the end of the day, I think what really inspires people is when they can see that their book is going to help someone else. Right? And, you know, if you want to look at that from a business angle, maybe the book just educates people about your service or or educates people about the problem that you solve, right? Because think, because remember this, right? Remember this, in business, the customer often doesn't know they have the problem. You know, I spoke on my last live about the root canal tooth. I didn't know, I had that in 2008. That's been a problem for me for 12 years. I did not know it was, I did not know. And then I read books and I was educated and now I was conscious of the problem and then I was able to go forward and, and get a solution. And, um, and, 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 you know, the people that wrote the books, they are now 
um, I am now a customer of theirs because they took the effort to write something that educated me so I became aware of what my problem was. And you can be exactly the same. You know, Jackie says here, it can be a transformational journey writing a book. It absolutely can be. Um, I think I think it is a, a, a big transformation. And one of the things that I think sets our program apart, and I say this because I don't see anyone else doing it, is that, you know, and Davina, our publishing manager, talks about this all the time, about authentic leadership, about leaders who um, are doing doing their thing, doing the do, um, and when you meet them, you can tell that you know there's a congruence between what they're putting out, and there's no like weird energy. There's no like oh I'm, I don't really believe what they're saying. You know they're saying words, but I don't I don't trust it. I don't believe it. There's a lot of that in the world right now, and. I believe, and you know, we would never market the book writers program as a transformational journey because no one would really take it, except for the guy, except for the guys and girls that love transformation. Um, but it is a transformational journey, and particularly when you do it with us, because the big, our big focus is what happens through the process is you embody, you embody your message, you become that authentic leader, uh, and I see it all the time. Like if books haven't, if someone is, the book hasn't come out of them yet, then to me, that could be an indicator that they just haven't quite embodied everything that they need to, in order to become that authentic leader at that next level. Of course, we're always dealing with leaders and leadership has levels. So everyone's stepping up here. But that's, that's just what I look at it as, is like, you know, something needs to be embodied, something needs to be gotten past and the fuel that fires it all that that really um because it's very easy to quit like I know so many people I know so many people that are like yeah I'm writing a book and then five years later it's like yeah they're still writing a book and then seven years later it's like yeah they're still writing a book you know I just I just chuckle sometimes I really do um because I know I know how much sticking power it takes to get a book done and that's why we've created our system um, with the write your book in a week and and then the publish and launch afterwards with our publishing process um, to get you get you published and get you through the steps of the process. So, uh, what powers all all of the whole thing is is knowing why you're starting and and staying connected to that. So if you can do that, then then I think you've got a you've got a really really good chance and. Um, let me see, is there anything else I want to share on that? No, I think that's all. So getting clear is very important on why you want to do it. It'll see you through. So guys, if you've enjoyed this live, I'm going to be doing a few more of these. I'm going to step you through the entire process that we go through, um, in terms of how we think about books and the structure of the books. The first step is why are you doing it? And in the next video, which I'll do in, I don't know, over the next couple of days, I'll release a few more videos. I'll step you through the other steps as we get more and more specific. What you'll notice is that um, in a couple of videos time, we'll be getting to the message, you know, what goes on the title, what goes on the subtitle. And then the video after that, will get into the structure. And that's really where the rubber hits the road. You know, I find a lot of people can get on board with why and they get really excited about the why. Um, but then when it gets, when the rubber hits the road, when the meat and potatoes need to be cooked, uh, when the, you know, when the iron needs to be lifted, when the, the do needs to be done, uh, that's when, that's when I find uncertainty can come in. So I want to help you guys and give you some certainty around how to structure books, how to message book, how to get the messaging right, how to get the positioning right, um, and how to do so in an authentic way, in a way that's aligned with who you are, that's, you know, not just all this marketing speak. Marketing is definitely a part of it.